yes yes my name is sonia matthew and i am one of the oet aspirant from the eduskill international platform also i am one of the admin from the eduskill uh, family so we are discussing today regarding the oet sub test uh, that is which is that writing writing yes we are uh, discussing about the oet sub test writing here uh, we are discussing about how we can assess a case note and from that case note how we can make a good letter according to the oet standard letter writing how we can make a good letter from a case note so uh, from our platform our mentor uh, respected uh, reverend dr father salim joseph has taught us a uh, 21 steps of oet letter writing and uh, that is the standard method we are following in our platform and there will be 21 steps in each step uh, we will uh, we will assess the case note and we will uh, do uh, some of the step by step activities and at the end we will get a wonderful letter okay so let me just introduce the 21 steps of oet letter writing uh, the first step is transform each case note into a simple sentence the second one is check with the grammarly here what we will do means first all the case note uh, each and every information we will make simple sentence and we will check with grammarly and for your information grammarly is a free app uh, software or application we can uh, download from the from the play store or app store we can install into our mobile phone or our system and we can uh, utilize that for correcting our letters okay and today we are discussing about the first step which is transforming case note into a simple sentence we are making the whole case note into simple sentences today we are taking the case note mr leon ramamurthy uh, do you have the case note with your hand yes if you don't have it is posted in our main platform as well as in our sub uh, sub groups you can see that so now we are screen sharing that you can see and you can read that can you can you see sonia is it note? visible yes it's visible hello friends is this visible for you yeah it is visible uh, or else you can use the pdf file from our main platform uh, there is leonel ramamurthy case note is available okay so with this case note we are making simple sentences understood friends Uh, the first portion we can see the notes uh, there what it is written assume that today's date is 10 february 2019 and mr leonel ramamurthy a 63 year old patient on the medical ward in which you are a charge nurse hospital newton public hospital uh, the hospital address is given and the patient details are given so how we will make the simple sentences so uh, the simple sentences we can uh, write like this the patient's name is mr leonel ramamurthy full stop and mr leonel ramamurthy is 63 years old are you understanding how we will write the simple sentences yeah okay and uh, you are a charge nurse in the medical ward these are the uh, Uh, simple sentences from the first portion can you see can you read this is that visible for you all yes so near continue okay okay and in the patient details we can write uh, mr ramamurthy is a widower each information we have to make a simple sentence that's it and mr ramamurthy's spouse deceased 6 months ago next sentence mr ramamurthy lives at community retirement home new town understood how we will write the simple sentences from the patient details yes yes okay uh, so like this we have to look into the case note and we have to make each information into a simple sentence a complete sentence and the next of kin mr ramamurthy's next of kin is jake and jake is an engineer here you can see Uh, in our case note it has given only the main ideas we have to elaborate and we have to make a complete sentence a complete simple sentence understood guys yes sonia okay um and the other sentences i will read out jake is 37 years old jake is married jake has three kids 
Jake's kids are less than 10 years old. Mr. Ramamurthy's other next of kin is Seen. Seen is a teacher. Seen is 30 years old. So in the next portion of the case note, we can see the admission, discharge and diagnosis. Information regarding the admission, discharge and diagnosis. So uh, like that, we have to make simple sentences. Here I have given the example. Like this we can write, Mr. Ramamurthy was admitted on 4 February 2019. Mr. Ramamurthy was discharged on 11 February 2019. Mr. Ramamurthy was diagnosed with pneumonia so from the case note each each and all, each each and every information we have to make into simple sentence and that should be a complete sentence and the next portion in the case note is the past medical history there uh, they have given uh, some of the key points we have to elaborate that into simple sentences like uh, mr ramamurthy has been diagnosed with osteoarthritis mainly in his fingers Mr. Ramamurthy is taking Voltaren or di uh, Diclofenac. Mr. Ramamurthy's eyesight decreased due to cataracts. Cataracts were removed 16 months ago. Mr. Ramamurthy needs checkups. So in our case note we can see the main information has given. But what we have to do in our first stage? We have to make every information into a simple sentence and we can move on to the social background where we can see the main information and from that we can make uh, simple sentences like Mr. Ramamurthy is a retired school teacher. Mr. Ramamurthy taught history and maths at school. Mr. Ramamurthy is financially independent. Mr. Ramamurthy is lonely since his wife's death. Mr. Ramamurthy lost weight by approximately 4 kg in 6 months. Mr. Ramamurthy's weight loss has was associated with a poor diet. And next we can see the information regarding the medical history. Just like before we have to make the simple sentence. If it is a uh, if it if the information are more we have to cut and we have to make simple simple sentences. So that is the first stage. We will make each and every sentences into simple sentences. In the medical history, we can make the sentences like Mr. Ramamurthy has been diagnosed with uh, type 2 diabetes since 2000, 2017. Mr. Ramamurthy's type 2 diabetes is well managed with the diet. Mr. Ramamurthy was diagnosed with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease on 4th March 2018. So are you understanding how we can make simple sentences from each and everything, every information from the case note? Yes, Sonia. Yes. Okay. So in this, in the first stage, we are, we, we are not asked to see uh, which is a relevant note, which is an irrelevant note, like that nothing. In the first stage, uh, we have to make all the information from the case note into a simple sentence. There is no relevant information, irrelevant information like that. In this stage, we are learning how to write simple sentences. That's why we are making all the information from the case note into a simple sentence. And there we are going the medical background and uh, that information we can convert it into many simple sentences like Mr. Ramamurthy was admitted due to pneumonia. Mr. Ramamurthy had acute shortness of breath. Mr. Ramamurthy had inspiratory wheezing. Mr. Ramamurthy had expiratory wheezing. Mr. Ramamurthy had a persistent cough. Mr. Ramamurthy had chest pain owing to a persistent cough. Mr. Ramamurthy had abdominal pain due to a persistent cough. Mr. Ramamurthy had a fever. Mr. Ramamurthy had rigor. Mr. Ramamurthy had sleeplessness. Mr. Ramamurthy had a generalized ache. Mr. Ramamurthy was mobilizing with a pickup frame on admission. On admission, Mr. Ramamurthy required assistance with activities of daily living. Is it visible for you all? Can you read out? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, here we are making simple sentences uh, without any conjunctions uh, like that. Only simple sentences. We can write 
we can uh, make into uh, other like other uh, simple sentences this is just an example in your own way you can make simple sentences and you can correct with the grammarly and next we are moving on the medical progress here i have uh, written the sentences like mr ramamurthy is a febrile mr ramamurthy's inflammatory markers were back to normal mr ramamurthy was mr ramamurthy walks slowly mr ramamurthy is independent to go independent to go toilet slowly mr ramamurthy is independent to take a shower slowly mr ramamurthy has a dry cough mr ramamurthy has some chest pain mr ramamurthy has some abdominal pain mr ramamurthy was reviewed by a dietitian after the dietitian's review mr ramamurthy's weight increased by 1.4 kg same like this we are uh, writing the simple sentences from the nursing management we have to be uh, we have to be uh, cautious we have to make only simple sentences at this stage okay in the nursing management we can make the sentences like uh, mr ramamurthy was encouraged to take oral fluids mr ramamurthy was encouraged to follow proper nutrition and mr ramamurthy was encouraged to follow uh, perform chest physiotherapy mr ramamurthy was encouraged to do deep breathing exercises mr ramamurthy was encouraged to do calm exercises mr ramamurthy was advised to sit rather than lie down to improve postural drainage Mr. Ramamurthy is ambulant as per the physiotherapist review. In the assessment, uh, inform in the assessment, we can make the sentence like Mr. Ramamurthy has made good progress. And at the end, uh, from the discharge plan, we can make simple sentences like Mr. Ramamurthy needs help to monitor his diet. Administer paracetamol if Mr. Ramamurthy has chest pain. Administer paracetamol if Mr. Ramamurthy has abdominal pain. keep mr ramamurthy warm please provide good nutrition add more fluids to mr ramamurthy's diet add eggs to mr ramamurthy's diet add fruits to mr ramamurthy's diet add more veg vegetables to mr ramamurthy's diet like this we are making each and every information from the case note into a simple sentence understood we will get nearly uh, 80 to 85 sentences and um each information we can uh, convert into uh, word format we can match with the grammarly we can correct it and we can uh, keep it for the next step of the oit letter writing the case note completely we are making into simple sentences in the first stage then after writing the simple sentences we are using the grammarly to correct the grammar and all the language related errors okay so this is our first step in oit letter writing we are doing 21 steps in this first one is making simple sentences from the case note then we will correct with the grammarly app understood today's session yes okay the next section will be continued on the next day till then you can practice with your case note you can make simple sentences from that and you can correct with the grammarly okay <coughs> but grammar grammarly is not working on cell phone you can download the grammarly app and you can make it into your keyboard you can make the grammarly your keyboard okay so whenever <coughs> you write something uh, that will help you to correct in edge skill youtube channel there is a video regarding the grammarly app uh, uh, i would suggest you to watch that video if again you have Uh, doubts regarding uh, grammarly app you can raise the concern in our form or any of the admins we will reach you out is that okay with you yeah ma'am last but not the least my sincere gratitude to father salim joseph and founder admin uh, mam saumya sham for this wonderful opportunity for me to present in this session and learning with edu skill and my sincere gratitude to each and every admins and supporting members for helping me to present this session and learning with you thank you thank you uh, for all here except that means we are expecting you to do the uh, daily discussion at 8:30 pm okay on the previous day we will do the same like discussion here in the zoom session okay so monday if you are going to present this uh, simple sentences 
so today we have covered that okay so if you have any doubts you can ask in that day in the zoom session okay the timing would be the 8 30 8 30 yeah indian time 8 30 will be the discussion okay so that <laughs> we know <clears throat> sometimes no writing means everybody will think like oh uh, i don't know whether i can uh, in the discussion or not yeah because of that we started this on the previous day we will discuss in the zoom session it will definitely help you. You you will get better understanding. How can you pre prepare a simple sentence? Then comb compound a complex. Uh, in each is each step. Once you go through it, you will become more thorough in that. According to that, you can write a letter without any confusions in future. So it would be better to continue. I yes. hope you will be. Yeah. Yes, it is better to continue. And actually, uh, you made this group. This is also uh, like we are having interaction a day prior. That will also benefit us more in discussing. If we have more doubts, we can clarify uh, beforehand and we can show more participation in the group. Exactly. A few people may hesitate to come forward and speak in front of a crowd or something. They may have that hesitation. So... Uh, once uh, no that uh, that will uh, definitely uh, change once you join in this daily discussion and uh, in oet that will help to uh, do a better performance in your speaking session so so this is you told no Dis uh, participating in daily discussion uh, discussion you will be better in speaking in my opinion that is a wonderful thing uh, that or that that was my experience that was my personal experience during this oet journey when I started to participate in the daily discuss discussion, I become more competent. I become more fluent in speaking because many times we will uh, speak and we will record and we will listen to that. That itself, it is a best uh, speaking practice. So tomorrow, our Limna will prepare the session. So please uh, come forward uh, and join this same 530. Today, there was an admission uh, admin meeting. That's a reason uh, delay for this. So from tomorrow onwards, the same meeting will be the same Zoom session will be there at 5.30, clear way. Yeah, and one more thing, those who are participating in the discussion, definitely they will get some special uh, classes and they will get uh, admission uh, in uh, all the Zoom sessions. And please share to all your friends, all your contacts mm -hmm. regarding this platform, okay, as it is a free platform. Let everybody learn OET without paying a single rupee. So thank you. Thank you. Sonia, you did it tonight. Thank you so much, Sonia. Congratulations. Really, really appreciate your ah, confidence. Thank you. 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 Sonia, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Once again. Thank you, Ezi.